What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Trover Saves the Universe here on the Backlog. I am Basic37, the as always gracious host. Now, in the last episode, a whole bunch of shit happened. Well, we got the Crystal Babies into the uh, eyes of the Abstainers. We have since actually gotten Glor got a little bit closer to his end goal, unfortunately, in search of that. After trying to get the last set of the uh, Crystal Babies from George, he kind of took a spill from the TV, falling into his tub, and we ended up finding out where the last two were. We got those, and well, Glurkon kind of headed us off at the pass. And he merged a whole bunch of planets, essentially leaving us stranded on the planet we were at called Tech World. Well, lo and behold, when we thought we were fucked, another version of Trover comes in with a new telepod. And well, thanks to him, we're alive. Though what happened to him? Fuck if we really know. <laughs> to be completely honest, we don't truly know what happened with him. But that's not our problem. Now we're actually just about to make our way back to the boss man here, and he's going to give us the lowdown on how to proceed further. So that being said, we're going to dive right back in. Browser done. Trover, Chair Orpion, what took you so long to get back here? What were you, playing with your ding-dong? Yes or no? I mean, obviously. Uh, you were playing with I mean, your how else am I going to get all the YouTube videos? It's healthy, it's natural, it's hot, it's sexy, and it's going to help prepare you with what I have to tell you right now. Really now? A bunch of worlds are all destroyed. You know, th th this device is being powered by the abstainers through the crystal babies. All right, you boss, w w what do the abstainers say? I mean... What do the abstainers want us to do? We've lost all contact with the abstainers, Trover. The last thing they said to me was the Glorcon was planning to blow up a bunch of planets in the Tarvo galaxy, which is admittedly mm -hmm. very, very far away and fairly inconsequential to us, but still, it's it's just a bunch of crazy bullshit. Wait a minute, so all, yeah. all he was going to do was just merge a handful of worlds together? That's a big deal, Trover. This motherfucker merged a bunch of worlds together, and... Uh, quite frankly, we don't know if he's gonna do it again. I think he probably will. Well, Jesus Christ, I think that's pretty uh, this safe guy, to ascertain this from all this. Us. Right, Trover, he played you. I, I've been busy playing cards. Now shut the fuck up. L listen to me. I have a plan. We still have the coordinates mm -hmm. to Glorcon's home planet. That's where he's keeping his world merging device. That's where his secret base is, and that's where the crystal babies are. The only problem is the planet is being shielded by a giant, impenetrable force field. All Which we, we already know. Is shut down the force field. It's easy. Well, how do we do that? What, what the fuck? What, what, what are we supposed to do? Trevor, we gotta blow up Mixed World. Mixed World is powering Gorkon's force field around his secret base planet. You wanna, you want us to is blow it really? up a planet? A bunch of planets that are merged together? You fucking serious? You, you hear Trevor, yourself? I don't want to hear any more of this out of you. Cherorpian, do you think you're up for this? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, yeah, confident, huh? Real confident. You better be. And quit trying to play with your little ding-dong. This is serious. We gotta save the this localized area of the cosmos. And you're sitting there trying to play with your little ding-dong in here. Anyway, Glorcon just destroyed a handful of worlds, merging them together, and he created one giant mixed world. That's a problem. You've been there. He's also gonna kill your dogs, Cheerorpion, and the abstainers are gonna die too. I mean... Is that enough stakes for us? I mean, you got all that, Trover? You following along here? Yeah, yes, yes, okay, we got it. Okay, on this mixed world, there's a bomb planting site. You're gonna need to plant a bomb in that receptacle. Where the fuck are we, where's this bomb you're talking about? Where, where, where? I'm getting to that, Trover, goddammit, if you let me fucking finish my conversation. In order to get the bomb, you're gonna need to go talk to my good friend, one of the funniest guys I know, comedy guy. He's my best friend, one of my best friends, and he also happens to be a bomb expert. And, and well... he'll tell some hilarious jokes. He'll lift your spirits. His name is Comedy Guy. He has the bomb. So just whenever you're ready, go ahead and press the button on the telepod and it'll take you to Comedy Guy. And then from there, you'll go to Mixed World. Jesus Christ, what a hot mess. Partner, come on, hit the button. Let's go to Comedy Guy and get this bomb. Maybe we'll hear some jokes. I don't know. <sighs> Man, you know... You know, whenever the chips are down, Comedy Guy's there to get, to give you a little laugh and a chuckle. You know, really talking he about? brings a smile to the table. Uh-huh. He's, you know, and he's got a good, lovable, you know, rated G type sense of humor. Uh, e for everyone tone with his comedy. He's very, but it'll still make the edgiest 
person laugh because his comedy is so I think sharp. Seems to laugh right now. And he's just he's such a light, delightful, lovable, happy-go-lucky character. He's always funny mm -hmm. and laughing and just having uh -huh. a great time. You know, time. more or less murdered yeah, all so your friends, friends, right? And he also happens to know a lot about bombs and you know, like how to make really ex horrible explosive bombs that could devastate uh -huh. and destroy. He, it's a weird coincidence, but it's great. Thank God it's him and not someone else because you need a laugh. Yeah. Things are dark. Things are we're in our darkest days right now. Uh -huh. This is the darkest part, and we need a good chuckle and a smile. So comedy guy's my good friend, and he's good and he's great. It's gonna make you chuckle, and you're gonna get a good laugh out of it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And boy, oh boy, I wish I could be there. I wish I could go with you. I I need a laugh too, but I gotta stay back here and man the station. Uh, get ready for when you're, when you when you when you're place when you're done placing all the bombs. I gotta get ready for, for to tell you what to do next, cause it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna shut the door now, Chair Orpian. Make sure your little ding dong is out of the way. Believe me, you don't want your ding dong getting slammed in between these telepod doors as it closes. It hurts really bad, and you guys would end up in the space hospital getting your ding dongs worked on. I can say that from experience. Good luck out there, you two. You're my favorites. Really now? Man, this is a bunch of bullshit. I can't believe Glorcon played us like he did. And, and all this shit would have happened whether I had been with you or not. I, I, I could have been doing my own thing this whole time, you know? I mean, I stuck around with you for what? And, and now we gotta blow up a planet? I mean, Jesus Christ. Dude, your tone so shifted on a fucking dime. Uh, Alright, look. Let's just check out Comedy Guy's routine, get the bomb, and then go blow up this entire planet. Come on, partner. Let's go. I want to meet Comedy Guy. I want to get. I want to get my laugh on. I want to collect these bombs and chuckle. Get some chuckles out. I need to get a chuckle out of my system. All right. Let's do it. If it's anything like anything else, I don't know if we're gonna be really chuckling too much, but we'll find out, I guess. You've seen his light-hearted comedy on Flame Shack. No, you know him from his silly, family-friendly prop comedy masterpiece, Floppy Props, and he's been a regular on David right. Letterman for years. Let's really? Warm round of All right. To I'm excited. Comedy guy. Fucking called it. Oh my God! He hung himself. Oh you know, he, he always God! Always about it, but I just thought he was doing a bit. Jeez. How's that right? G like Eve or everyone? Me, and, and now I have to deal with this. W w what am I? The, the guy from 127 Hours? Did you see that movie? The guy got the shit. Holy shit! It's the bomb. There it is. There's the freaking bomb. L let's get it and get the hell out of here. All right. Let's uh do the, the thing. Right there, just pick it up. Just grab it. Fucking trying. Oh my god! You know th this isn't my fight. I, di I didn't start this shit. I, I feel like Elian Gonzalez right now. Remember him? He wrote on dolphins and he was involved in a huge international custody battle. Remember that? The kid was put through the fucking ringer for doing nothing. All he did was ride some dolphins. You know, this is bullshit. Is it though? Partner, please, just let's go. Just get me in the telepod, please. I want to get the fuck out of here. No, I'm going to make you look at him for a little while. This isn't my war. Fuck this! I just wanted to get high off of some power babies, and 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 now this. I'm like Swandy over here. The, you, you know the, the the guy that was arrested for a little too much pep in his step. The guy did jack shit. He just skipped across the street. This is bullshit. His name was Swansy. All right. Well, uh, let's uh get the show on the road, Fuck shall we? This shit. You look a little worried there, pal. Look, partner, I, I don't know how to say this, but I can't do this anymore, okay? W w once we blow up this planet, I'm, 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 I'm striking out. I I'm getting the fuck out. I I'm not going to Glork on Superbase. I, 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 I care about you, and, 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 and I really, I want you to succeed, and I think you will, but, but you're doing it without me, because he probably just ripped my fucking head off. Are you kidding? He, he you saw what he did. He played us. And I'll help you kind of dead this last thing together and then it's bon voyage for me You know we'll, we'll, we'll watch this place blow up from space and I'm gonna go to empty peepers and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hire a couple of hookers 
Listen, I'm sorry, partner. Uh, are, are, are you cool with this? Is this okay with you? You understand, right? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I mean, uh, I figured you'd say that, partner. So that's why I've really grown to care about you, you know? And, uh, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I, I, I got to. I just got to. I mm. mean, I got to get the fuck out of here, you know? But we'll do your thing. We'll, we'll blow this place up, and then you'll, you'll probably get reassigned a new partner. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, there are right, clearly there are more of you. Well, one last level, you and me, for, for old time's sake, huh? Oh my god, your world's one of the worlds that got mixed up? Now oh, I feel shit. really bad that I'm leaving you behind, partner, but I gotta do what's right for me, you know? I, I'm pretty sure you'll get through this whole thing with or without me, you know? Who needs me, right? I, I, I was never important to this whole thing anyways. Is this my house? Let me poke those eyes out and get a few more red power babies. Alright. Fuck. I'm at my maximum distance. I have max distance beyond me, but. Oh, bye bye. thinking about uh, how much I like this world. It's all mixed up. That's not what you were really thinking about. I could tell. You're lying to me. No, I'm not. I'm telling the truth. I was thinking about how I like this mixed up crazy topsy-turvy world right now. No, you're not. You were thinking about how you want to stuff your leg up my ass. How did you know that's what I was thinking about? I caught you in a lie. You want to stuff your leg all the way up my ass. Yeah, I do. I do, actually. I was too shy to tell you. Now, you don't have to be shy about that. We're, we're, we're clones. You know, we're we're the same thing, basically. So go ahead, you can stick your entire foot up, your whole leg up my ass. Go ahead. Well, hold on. If I stick my leg up your ass, that what means you're gonna the fuck? Your leg up my ass. You know it. If you stick your leg up my ass, then I'm only letting you do it so I can stick my leg up your ass. Ugh. Well, then now I need to think about it because I, I wasn't thinking about I'd want a leg up my ass. Come on, we're clones. We're supposed to be the same kind of, same thing. I thought you'd wouldn't be the same thing as me. Man, I just wanted to see what it would feel like to have my leg up some up someone's ass, you know, all the way all the way to the, the upper thigh. That's this is I some new level like shit. This leg up the ass thing isn't going to happen cuz you won't agree to let me do it to you. So, why don't we just, just do our jobs, which is supposed to be looking for a Cherubrin and Trover in case they show up, you know? Which is probably not going to happen cuz they're on the other side of this mixed world. Yeah, let's just be quiet and just think about what it would be like if our legs were up each other's asses. That was a... Uh, that was a conversation I didn't plan on hearing. Uh, that's it, motherfucker. Well, look who we have here. Lorcan said you two might show up. He said we could kill you. The killing to us. We'll fucking murder you. Gotta be careful, don't wanna take too many hits. Oh, I'm gonna die, you say. I'm dead, you say. Hey, you need to die. I said you, not me. Good that, puts me by these power babies. that puts me in a weird spot. You're done. One more done. Ow. Whew. I'm in a bad spot. There we go. Whew. Checking my health and I really lost some more of it. Okay. Yep, that's kind of the game plan here. You, you, know, you know, you're going to be fine without me. You know... I know boss will partner you up with the new eye hole monster. You know, they're, they're slow. Oh, wonderful. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to take, we're going to make sure that you guys don't get any further than this. Whatever the fuck you're trying to do. Oh, great. You need to go. Are you now?
Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Gotta be careful about dodging this fucking thing. Fuck. Can I kill you? Now that. Well, fuck. Nope, going the wrong way now. Do I feel all of it over again, or just that part? You, you, know, you know, you're gonna be fine without me. You know, I know Boss will partner you up with the new eye hole monster. You know, mm -hmm. there's Schlover, the trans uh, uh, eye hole monster, voiced by an actual trans person. No, no, uh, no, no. No messing around there. There's other eye hole monsters. M remember the pink eye hole monster we saw when Glorcon merged all the worlds together? Mm -hmm. You know, there, 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 there's Dover. He, he, he's uh, he's green colored. He, he's an eye hole monster. The guy, the guy's great. He's amazing. He's a karate expert. But guess what? Big twist. He's Irish. Also voiced by an actual mm -hmm. authentic Irish person. We're very proud of that. Um, oh god. Boss could also potentially partner you up with Lover, who's uh a lot like me, but African American and funny and witty and has all these great commentaries all right, all right. and a whole different perspective on, you know, everything. Really good character. Voiced by a white person though. Just want to give you a heads up there. That one was whitewashed. I do apologize for that. But anyways, the point is, you're going to get partnered with a whole new Eye hole monster, and you're the real important thing, not not me. Uh, you know, I'm not important. I disagree with that, there, Trover, but I don't know. Oh, wonderful! Here we go! Here we go! Look at who is here. We're gonna take, we're gonna make sure that you guys don't get any further in this. Whatever the fuck you're trying to do. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to have better aim. Damn it. I also need not to fall off things. Fuck you, little pussy penis. That's a little bit, uh. That's a little nonsensical there. Okay, if I could actually pay attention to where I'm standing. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Trying to bait this fucker into attacking. There we go. This way I can do this. There we go. There we go, there we go. Want to bait you over to here so I can do the thing. Bait you to attack. Attack. There we go, one more, one more. That's right, come over here. Come to Papa. Oh, yeah, you like my little butthole. Yeah, you like my little butthole. There we go, now I can do shit to you. Suck your dick, eh? I'd rather than that. That definitely is. Let's get this warp note here. Let's get you in a position. Oh fuck.
I feel horrible about, about not coming through for you on this, but you know I'm gonna walk into that Glorcon base, and the guy's probably just gonna pick me up and rip my head off, throw it across the room. He'd probably kill you too, you know? I'm telling you, man, we gotta just stick together, and let's just call this whole thing off. Here's what we should do. After we're done blowing this place up, because fuck that guy, we might as well do that. We should use the telepod to go to my home world. Come with me, come to my home world. Empty peepers, we'll go to empty peepers. We'll get some drinks, you know? I'll convince all of the other eye hole monsters there that you're not, you know, that you're one of the good ones. And that's why I don't want you to go to this through, through with this. I mean, for what, to save your dogs? How old were your dogs? I mean, how how long do dogs live for anyways? I mean, what, what do they, what do they have a couple more years on them? Like five years left or something? I mean, come on, is it, is it really worth it? I mean, an animal's life is always worth it in my eyes. But, I can understand what he's trying to say, at least. Wait, ho hold, hold on a second. All right, partner, you got this. You can figure this out. Uh, uh, whoa, look out! This is a bunch of bullshit. I've okay, been what the fuck? Week. You guys are dead. I spent the entire time I was stuck in there thinking about a movie idea. You guys are dead. I'm super genetically modified. You can't hurt me. Oh, all right, done with that. Okay, so what's the whole point of these? What am I supposed to do with you? Platform onto that? That could be. That very well could be. Reel it in a little bit. Reel it in a little bit. I said reel it in a little bit. Really now. Well, maybe that's enough. There we go. You're doing it, partner. We're having some fun together on this last level that we're gonna be together on because I'm not I'm, I'm out of here after this can't make it clear enough shit partner the thing we got to plant the bomb into it's across the lake fuck there, there's got to be some way over there oh god look at those things I thought we killed all of them that's got to be something yeah That had it had to be done. Who wants to give her a waving your ass my way? What the hell do you think is gonna happen if you toss someone? Yeah, I need to deal with this asshole first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, huh? Huh? Aw, oh, you fucking poor baby. That's right, show me your ass. Uh, I hope they all go to heaven. I don't think that's gonna be something we have to worry about for those fucking things. Sick of being in buttholes. I don't wanna be in any more buttholes, you know? So can, there's got to be another way across the lake. I'm sure of it. Uh, maybe not. Maybe there's some other way we can get across the lake. I, I just don't want to go inside a butthole. Well. Oh, son of a bitch! Ah. Hey. All right. I hope this is. Uh, I hope this is the right way because we are in a butthole right now. All right. You know what? We're gonna make the best of this. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a good time down here as we make our way forward. Can't see you. It's really dark. Or, 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 or I'm blind. Oh, I think I'm blind. I, I think I went blind. Or it's dark in here. Could be just dark in here. Relax. Marco. Marco. No, I say, uh, you say Polo. I'm gonna say Marco. No, I wanna say Marco and you say Polo. All right, fine. Go ahead. Polo. No, you're supposed to say, you wanted to say Marco. All right, Marco. Okay. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. 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 Polo, Marco, 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 Marco. Dear God, Marco, fucking die. Polo, Marco. Oh, they Polo, keep respawning. Marco, 
Polo. Got it. Marco, Polo, 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 Marco, 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 Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco. There's gotta be something I can fucking do about this. Marco, Polo, 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 Marco, 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 Polo. Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, 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 Polo. Can I grab those things? Marco, 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 Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, 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 Marco, 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 Polo, Marco. Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, 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 Marco, Marco, Marco. I gotta be able to get up there somehow. Marco, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, 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 Marco, 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 Polo. Marco. How the fuck do I get up there? Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. 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 Marco. 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 That looks like one of those plants I can jump on, but. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. 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 Marco. 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 Those things just keep spawning in. Marco. Marco. Polo. Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco, Polo, Polo, Polo. There we go. Dummy and dummy, we're gonna kill the both of you. You're dead. Can't even see what the hell I'm doing over there. I'm just glad I got that fucking Marco Polo bullshit done. That needed to end. How the fuck do I get you? I gotta be able to platform you somehow. There is a way for me to get to you. I think I just found it. There we fucking go. Thanks, fucking God. Guys, let's lighten, let's lighten the mood. We're gonna be splitting ways after this, so let's have a good time here for, for this last level that we're gonna be together. Let's get some funny jokes in. What did the wrinkly old dick say to the massive plump butt cheek? Spread them, spread out. That's a good one, huh? It makes me laugh every time I hear it. <coughs> you mix a cherubian and a glass blower. <coughs> Stupid, ugly, dumb fuck. Who knows how to blow glass? Hey, 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 I'm just kidding. We're having fun here. Ah, oh, this is fun. You could say that, I guess. My mom told me I could be anything, so I put her heels on and told her to go clean her room. She grounded me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of cool. You think blind people know it's pink lemonade? You know, that's actually a valid Fire question. A like clipping your toenails. Nobody wants you to do it in their bed, but sometimes you have to. Oh my lord. Why would a pimp make a good firefighter? Cause Does fuck? No, this is empty peepers. No, no, this can't be. No, empty peepers is on my home world. This means my world got mixed up too. What the fuck? No. Oh man. It's not supposed to be here. Oh my god. Empty peepers. My home world is gone. Oh my god, Angela, the waitress is dead. She was such a good waitress. She didn't even care if we didn't tip her. This is all Glorcon's fault. This is empty peepers. This is the fucking place. This is where I go! Everyone's dead! It's a big massacre! Oh my god, it's... It's Ralph! We used to make plastic explosives together! We, we, we didn't even know what we were doing! We would just <laughs> get a bucket of gasoline and dump styrofoam into it and... Oh my and, lord. And we'd play with it! He's dead! Oh my god! Empty peepers! <sighs> Tobias! My mute hairstylist! He's dead! That guy was the best. He, he cut my hair just the way I wanted. He charged me 25 bucks and that included the tip. And he never tried to start small talk because he saw 
dead bodies when he was a kid, and he hasn't been able to speak since. Now, now where the hell am I gonna find another barber like that? He did a perfect you grow hair? every time. <sighs> My neighbor Candace, who had a big old grandpa dangly dick for a nose, and in order to in order to eat, she had to tilt her head and to the side and, and just a little bit. To get the dick out of her way. She was a good-looking girl too, but it was like, man, why don't why don't you just get that thing removed? You know, nose jobs aren't that uncommon. Not that it matters anymore because she's dead now, along with everybody from my home planet. Oh God. All right. That's shitty. My, my optometrist, Ginger. She cleaned out my eye holes after they got infected from using dirty green power babies. Now what am I supposed to do? Get high off of old sterile power babies like some fucking loser? <sighs> Murphy's Bakery is gone. I love that place. It was naughty. It was a naughty little donut shop that made the most delectable danishes. It also doubled as an elderly trafficking ring. And snatch up Fucking your what? shriveled schnoodle, Nana, and put her to work. Was it ethical? No. Did it make their basement smell like a used urinal cake? Yes. Was it all worth it for the danishes? Yes, it was. But it's gone now. It's all gone. Everyone's dead. Oh, my Lord. What the fuck? A geriatric fucking sex. Oh, what the fuck? Rabbi Brodick! He's dead now, too! We, we, we peed in the water for him and chucked him at all zoo animals! He said it felt good! I don't know if he meant sexually or what, but he sure enjoyed doing it, and he's dead now, too! Oh my god! Oh, I'm reeling! I'm reeling! Oh, god. The guy that backed my groceries! The one with the sideburns! What, what was his name? Patrice? He had the best sideburns! And he's dead now! It was like he ripped off Wilford Brimley's mustache and attached him to the, side of his, to the sides of his head! Everyone's gone! <sighs> that does have to be shitty. I, I can't even handle this! Phil Faskin! I don't know why that guy just popped into my head. I, I, I never really was that close to him, but... He's dead now! Phil! Hey, what the hell? What, what are you doing here? How the hell are you guys still around? Get him. We gotta kill him! Fucking killing all these guys! Don't let him get in! All right now. Die, bitch! Hey, what the fuck? Yeah. Yo, oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, that, I think that's it. Let's go. How many of these Chloricon clones do you think we've killed? All right, we're here. Not nearly we're enough. Here at the bomb location. Just place the bomb in the receptacle. Oh my God, I feel lightheaded right now. Oh Jesus Christ! Not quite. Almost. There we go. Okay, good, you got the bomb in there. All right, L let's keep moving. Let's get the fuck out of here. It's gonna blow up at some point. I I it's not some kind of self timer thing. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel sick. I don't feel good right now. You don't understand what I'm going through. My planet oh my got god. destroyed Doug, too. Doug, my sworn enemy, the scum of the earth. 
He unscrewed the Parmesan shaker so that when I Parmesian? used it, it everywhere. Son of a bitch, ruined my ravioli. You mean Parmesan? Ravioli. It was a special of that night too. It was twenty five ninety nine, and he ruined it. After that day, I swore on a stack of nudie mags that I'd get my revenge on Doug, and Glorcon took that away from me. Also, I can't prove this, but I think Doug was telling people that I've been soliciting oral sex to na naive tourists. Have you heard about that? It's total bullshit, just so you know. Now all those tourists are dead. Everyone's dead, even Doug is dead. Oh my god, I I I'm, I'm upset. This is hurts. It hurts. Yeah, you shouldn't die. Think that uh, that European and the uh, how to fuck you up, punk? Are you? You guys are the basic enemy. I think we got this. Sons of bitches. You know what? Fuck it. Forget it. I'm sick of remembering all this. What the fuck? Fuck them. I'll fuck you up. Fuck this. Yeah, I need to get rid of you too, Fox. Me, fuck you. You can come over here, it'd be great. This way I can get a better vantage point on you. Okay, I can't really see what the hell are you doing from there. Now, I are. To calm down. Just, I just, I just kind of process. <laughs> kind of just, I just need a moment just to be quiet. Mourn the loss of my planet and all my, all the, all the eye hole monsters on it. You know, partner, sort of fill you in on what I was thinking back there. When I found out that Glorcon wasn't going to destroy the whole cosmos, I, I was sort of thinking, you know, shit, this is, this is my ticket out of here, you know? I, I don't need to worry about this. And when I saw that my whole planet mm -hmm. was also clumped up with this other world and destroyed and everyone I know and love is dead, I mean, that kind of really sort of turned the key for me. So, not to state the obvious, I mean, we, we, we both just did all this together. I mean, you already know this. So you and me, partner, we're gonna fucking save your dogs. We're gonna avenge the death of my planet and all the people I knew. And I'm gonna fucking murder this Glorcon guy. You're gonna help me do it, partner. Let's have a moment of quiet, because we're almost there. And I'm fucking pumped. Are you now? Well, I can't say I blame you. I mean, the death of your people is typically a pretty good fucking motivator. But even so, though, let's see where we're at here. Yeah, unfortunately, I am all out of time for this episode here. I know it's been a little bit more of a quiet playthrough on my end. I haven't really had too much commentary. There's just so much dialogue in this game that is kind of on the funnier side, even though it's pretty stupid at the same point. But that's the humor. That's what makes it funny. But I'd rather not take away from that. I mean, I chime in here and there, but there's only so much I can really do, at least when it's like this. I don't really want to interfere with too much of the dialogue at the same point. Anywho, that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you've been seeing, don't be afraid to leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more, don't be afraid to subscribe. And if you have anything you want to tell me down in the comment section below, by all means, have at it. I am always watching. And if you are chomping at the bit, 
waiting for me to drop the next episode. Even I butchered that terribly. Either way, if you want to know when the next episode is dropping even before I get the chance to drop it, click that little bell, it will keep you informed. That being said, I am Base637, reminding you all to stay current out there, everybody.